Uh, AJ's really done it the way it should be done. He knows everything Coach Jones wants to be done. He's done all the steps. I've worked in some of the things he has to do with team travel, and those things aren't easy. Um, and it takes a lot of attention to detail, but he's done a great job. Uh, AJ, you know, comes to work every day, has an unbelievable attitude. He's got an unbelievable work ethic. He knows what's going on day to day, whether it's practice, team travel. He's on top of all that, and that's, that's what makes AJ a, a big piece of our puzzle here every day is he holds it all together with the operations and that's what he's supposed to do. Being a manager, it, it's a humbling experience. You have to do the little things that nobody else wants to do because people outside don't see how much work goes into it. All they see is, oh, you get to sit behind the bench at games, but it's more than that. And I have respect for everybody that goes into it. AJ's doing a great job at jumping in to that spot because people don't understand that director of basketball operations is a very, very stressful spot and it's a really hard spot to be in especially as your first job from jumping into that straight from being technically like a graduate assistant manager to a full-time position he's done an awesome job now i'm currently head of all film that takes place having to break down film halftime edits for the coaches scouting and also the travel part of it having to make sure our flights are set hotels are booked Everything just runs smoothly, so I'm pretty much the captain of the ship at the moment. We can't let you. We'll be getting dreads or something. Three, one, two, three. Did you take him serious at that point? He's uh, on the road from hotels, uh, buses, food. I mean, it, it's a tedious, hard job making sure everybody's okay. But he takes care of that, he handles it, and he stays calm, stays cool, and again, I have the utmost respect for him. You know, he does a lot of stuff for this program, you know, just kind of behind closed doors. And he used to work us out and, and be on the court with us, and, you know, we missed that a little bit. But, you know, we're happy for him and, and glad that he, he has that opportunity, you know, because it's going to take him a long way. Me and him, we used to play one-on-one -on -one all the time last year, so it was just funny seeing him. I call him big time now because he don't want to get in the gym and play with us no more. <laughs> Before, I was just on the friend side of it where, yeah, I understand where you're coming from, but now it's I have to be that mentor. I have to like tell him, guide him in the right way because it's just four years of college and then they step into the real world and they have to be ready for that. He's more excited now in his position. He has a lot on his shoulders, a lot of his plate. You know, he does a lot more for the team now. He's, he's capable of keep doing it, so he's doing great with it. I just thought AJ would be a, a great fit. You know, great energy, up and coming guy, you know, looking for a start somewhere. So that's one thing that I love to be able to do is help our own people. At first it was a rough transition, like having to get used to all the responsibilities of my new role and everything. But being a manager helped me out. It helped me work on my organization skills, learn how to prepare for practices, game day situations and everything. This new role is just helping me get better and helping me take that next step to where I really want to be and that's coaching basketball.